The recent uh, pandemic has clearly shown that uh, basic research is quite important to tackle these diseases and this also in a timely manner. The uh, impact has been large, but uh, the vaccination effort, for instance, has really been um, informed by basic research. The Center for Structural Systems Biology is a collaborative uh, research center located in Hamburg, in Germany, and brings together world-class research institutes in the north of Germany. We have a unique combination of groups in the building, all working on infection biology. We investigate the molecular mechanism of infections with the aim to understand the structure, dynamics and functions of pathogens and their interactions with the host. This fundamental research can also enable the identification of potential targets for interventions. On top of that, we are in a unique research environment, being on the DESI campus in Hamburg. DESI is the German electron synchrotron facility. The DESI facilities and research on campus provide novel imaging and structural biology approaches that we can quickly incorporate in our research projects. Currently, we're working on uh, replication transcription complexes in coronaviruses. We try to understand how the individual proteins come together to form uh, the larger complex that is then functional. And the other aspect we're working on is the size determination of capsids. So that's the protein shell um, the virus packages the genome in. Um, how that is determined in neuroviruses and how the structure of the capsid changes over time during the infection process. Purpose virus capsids are made in the nucleus um, and then they get packaged by the viral genome. And this packaging is done by the viral terminase um, and it's kind of a pump that pumps the viral genome into the capsid. And in this project we're mainly using the lattice light chain microscope so we can follow full um, replication cycles in an infected cell. Um, and we use this here um, to understand how this packaging is mediated in the living cell. So if you figure out how this interaction between the terminates and the genomes are working, then we can actually try to inhibit this. So this is a path to development of new, of new antivirals. AI is used in CSSB in many ways. One is the use of deep learning protein structure predictions. Uh, we use this to generate structural models of many protein-protein complexes, for example, formed within viruses and between viruses and the host cells. So one of the molecular complexes that we worked on is a nuclear POC complex, and we work on this in collaboration with other researchers in Germany. And here we used artificial intelligence-based modeling, uh, AlphaFold program, together with our own program, to map the structure of the human nuclear POC complex at unprecedented um, completeness and uh, precision. I see future integration of AI and CSSB in many different directions. I expect the next big milestones to be in modeling dynamics of macromolecular assemblies and identifying new targets for drug discovery. Computational methods um, can speed up the process of, uh, of the discovery by generating hypotheses that can be tested in the wet lab and vice versa. Uh, modeling can be also used to interpret uh, the results of experiments. So the Crayon facility is a teaching and research facility and we have high-end instrumentation to provide atomic details from uh, structures within host pathogen interactions. We also have on-the-fly data analysis tools available that allow us to access the sample quality during the data collection. So we also enable PhD students and postdocs to acquire these skills themselves so they become independent investigators. My project specifically deals with a DNA recombination pathway, specifically the rough AB branch migration complex, where the goal is to understand how this complex transforms the energy acquired from ATP hydrolysis and transform it into a mechanical work which is necessary for uh, the holiday junction branch migration. Thanks to the great equipped Kragen facility, I was able to record more than 50,000 movies uh, containing several millions of particles that I could later extract and using the high performance cluster, which is available through the DAISY computing uh, service, process the data to a really high resolution where we could start understand atomic details. CSSB is a great place for being a postdoc, which offers a plethora of methods which allows us to tackle our biological problems from different perspectives and find our answers. 
The beauty really is that uh, researchers in CSSB bring in various uh, pathogens, but also various methods. For instance, bacterial pathogens, also processes that might be relevant in viral pathogens, or gives opportunities for people to work with other groups uh, that work on um, malaria and um, uh, eukaryotic pathogens. So mixing concepts and uh, provoking new ideas and thoughts. We're working with the malaria parasite. In our department, we are asking very simple questions about the biology of the parasite, such as uh, how does the parasite get into our red blood cells, how does it transform the red blood cell, and how does it escape. And we are trying to probe into the answers of these questions by using reverse genetics, uh, biochemistry to structure biology. That's why CSSB is such a great place, because here in the house we do have experts in basic AFA field I just mentioned. So I think we have the, the opportunity to also combine all these techniques and also apply it for the, for the parasite, because malaria in plasmodium is a really particular organism and a really particular model. So I think it's important that they, with the expertise of different groups and different techniques and also working on, on, on different pathogens, we can also visualize and elucidates all these different mechanisms in the parasite. Working on emerging pathogens comes with its own challenges and it requires unique infrastructures. The CSSB houses experts covering all major pathogen groups, allowing us to make a mark on a broad front. So we really see CSSB as being at the forefront of uh, technologies, but also research in the area of structural and infection biology. This will um, in the end allow us uh, to tackle important uh, questions and make um, relevant contributions. So that's um, what we will bring to the table and what we will hopefully also be known for more in the future. Mm -hmm.